Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be another sawmilling video. I know I've been pretty absent when it comes to the sawmilling stuff since I got the new sawmill, but I have cut a number of logs so far. Um, most of them have just been some of my worst logs, just so I can get the hang of it. Um, the stuff I cut the other day was actually this. Oh, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell if it was red oak or post oak, but I cut a couple of those logs, got some two by fours and two by sixes out of them. Um, so these are the scraps left over. I've cut a couple short walnut logs um, that were four or five foot long that were actually walnut limbs, but they actually turned out pretty good. Today, I haven't even decided what I'm gonna cut yet, um, but I've got a number of things to choose from. Make sure I've got plenty of diesel in here before I get started. Yeah, we're good. What I do need to do is fill up the water tank. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what to cut here. And I thought I better get some of these logs out of the pasture. Um, we installed new gates there. This tree was one in the way and we cut this one down, I don't know. Actually, this one was bulldozed down then we cut it off, but this was pushed down probably a year and a half ago. And uh, it's either a red oak or a post oak. I really can't remember. As you can tell, the bark is slipping. It has uh, been laying here for a while, so I'm uh, going to try to get this one out of the field. This big one here is actually a giant old sassafras, which is really rare, so um, this one will be safe for a later day. I'm hoping it's not totally hollow, but we should be able to get some usable lumber out of this. I think what we're going to do is try to get this trash oak cut up and see what's usable out of it. Um, I'm going to try to measure off eight feet, which will probably be right around here. I'll have another short, trashy little log there I can mess with, but. And what I'm gonna be cutting with today is the cheap Chinese saw that I bought off Amazon. Uh, this is a Farmac. 92 cc chainsaw it's got a 24 inch bar on it cost less than 500 bucks so i thought i'd try it out better than uh spending 1800 bucks on the equivalent steel chainsaw so um i've used it for the last couple weeks and so far i'm pretty happy with it obviously it is pretty junky it's a cheap chinese saw but so there are some things i've had to tinker with already but uh so far so good we'll get this log cut in half
All right, so we've got the top of that log on here. I just wanted to run it through because I think my blade is dull, so I'd like to get this rough one at least cleaned up a little bit before I put a new blade on. Um, looking at the big end, it's about 13 inches across. Obviously, there's not really a point in measuring this end because it's pretty small, but about right here, I'd say it's about 11 or 10. Um, so about 10 inches to work with. Obviously, it's not going to yield a whole lot of lumber, but free log, it's better to mill it and get something out of it than throw it in a brush pile and get nothing out of it. So uh, we're going to get the mill going here and see if we can get this log cleaned up. See if she'll crank. This is looking really promising. Got a little bit of sculpting. We got that little log wrapped up. It took a little less than an hour um, and it's already getting close to dark. So definitely not gonna get to the other log tonight, but I'll try to get to that one tomorrow. But I've got these two boards here that are pretty much scraps, but I think I can get a little 
one by four, I don't know, about six foot long out of both of those. Maybe a little more out of the other one, but those will have to rip down and try to get something out of them. The rest of them are pretty much scrap. I know someone might want something like this for, I don't know, something, but um, we'll see. That one's probably going into the firewood pile as well, but. So I was cutting six quarter boards. These are eight inches wide and I don't know about six foot till it cuts in there, but about eight foot long in total, but six quarter boards. These three came out nice. This one came out nice. And then this last one here on the bottom, it is currently sitting at two inches thick. Um, I was gonna cut a half inch off, but it's pretty rough on the bottom, a lot of sapwood and stuff. So I'm probably gonna leave this one as a two incher and then whatever we need it for, I can cut it down to size, but. I know these aren't walnut or anything, so the, there's not going to be super gorgeous wood, but I'd say this came out pretty good for being oak. So I think this is a post oak, not a red oak, but even then, it still looks pretty good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be posting a lot more sawmilling content now that it's cooled off and I have less to do with the bottle calves. So. I'll hopefully be posting two or three of these per month. Um, it won't be replacing my farm vlogs at all, but will just be additional content. So keep an eye out for those. And with that being said, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all next time.